Hello guys and girls and welcome back to The Graded Gem. We've got some more PSA returns for you guys. Let's get straight into it. We're going to start with Pokemon Master Shenron, otherwise known as Matthew. And we're starting off with this awesome Son, Goku and Oob. We've got another one, Gem at 10 there. Very, very cool. We have Arcane Absorption Main Boo. We have Broly, the ultimate agent of destruction. Very, very cool. We have Beyond Darkness Demigra, I believe that says there. We have this awesome Distant Descendant, Son Goku Jr. with the Gem Mint 10. We have another one, the Gem Mint 10. We also have the Ultra Instinct Sign, Son Goku. Very, very cool. I like that. We've got the Ultimate Force SSB. Uh, I don't know what SSB is. Super Saiyan... Blue, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, that'll be the one. Uh, we have a Kaioken Son Goku, which I believe is like a, not actually Super Saiyan Blue. I think this is something different. We've got a Machamp First Edition there with a name in Tate. And another Machamp First Edition there with a name in Tate. Very cool, very, very nice. I like those, they're pretty, pretty cool. Thank you very much, Matthew, for sending those in. Next up, we have Ian. There we go. So Ian starts off the submission, or the return, should I say, with Leonard Fournette there. This is a really thick PSA card case. Let me just tell you that one there for a mint nine. We've got a kiss card of Mackie James from Raw there. So she's signed over her own kiss with a gem mint 10. Again, very, very thick case for that one. We have the Reshazard full art with the gem mint 10. We have the Detective Pikachu. Holographic, very nice. That's a promo there. We've got the Pikachu from McDonald's collection. The big old fat boy Pikachu from Base Set 2. We have the Zubat with more Zubats, because who needs more Zubats when you've got more Zubats? We've got the Bulbasaur near Mint 7. And we also have the Professor Oak telling you to go on a journey so he can spend some time alone in his little village without any 10 year olds bothering him. Next up, we have Mark. And he starts with a Zapdos. A Black Star Zapdos with a Gem Mint 10. We go on to a Machamp First Edition. There we go. So you can see that one actually has a shadow on it. We've got Blaine's Quiz number one. Who's that Pokemon? Mint 9. We've got the Red's Pikachu with a Gem Mint 10. Always love a Gem Mint 10. Can't complain. We've got the Mint 9 Zapdos Articuno and Moltres GX from Sky Legend which we got uh, in the Hidden Fate set. We've got the Mewtwo Detective Pikachu Reverse Fall Japanese Mint 9. We have the Charizard GX Japanese in a gem Mint 10. We have the Reverse Foil from Detective Pikachu of the Charizard near Mint 8. And we also have the Ancient Mew from the Pokemon 2000 movie there with a near Mint 7. So thank you very much for sending those in. I should probably mute the computer. Okay, now we've actually muted the sound in the room, we're going to go on to Brad there. We've got the Charizard from the Pokemon Collection, first edition. I believe this is just the Radiant Collection, but in Japanese. We have the Full Art of the Legendary Birds. We have a Red's Pikachu with the Gem Mint 10. We have another Red's Pikachu. And another Red's Pikachu. And we have a Golden Reshiram. Look at how cool that is from Legendary Treasures. Legendary Treasures is a set I like, guys. Why do I like Legendary Treasures? We've got the Metagross Gold Star. We have the Reggie Rock Gold Star. We have a Charizard from Expedition with the Gem Mint 10. We have a Sloking Hollow First Edition from Neo Genesis. This is an insanely hard card to grade. That one right there. We've got the Ampharos Hollow First Edition from Neo Gen. We have the Dark Weezing First Edition, Gem Mint 10. I have a dark hypno with the crazy eyes in the background. You know the crazy eyes scare me, guys. They they make me feel genuine fear. We've got the Blastoise, or should I say the dark Blastoise. Then we've got a first edition Machamp. There we go. We have a Charizard Hollow Expansion 20th Anniversary. Jump in 10. We have the Team Up Charizard pre-release. Very, very cool. With a mint nine. And another one. And then we have two Reverse Foil Evolutions Charizards. One with the name in Tate and one with the Mint 9. Hope you enjoy all of those and you'll be getting those in the post very, very soon. 
Next up, we have Power Pikachu underscore Finn, otherwise known as Jacko. So let's get those into shot. There we go. We've got the Skarmory and another one, both from Expedition. We have Mewtwo from Expedition. We have Dugtrio. We have a Politoed looking into what I can only presume is a sunset or an eclipse or something like that. We have a Neo Discovery Kabutops. A first edition Flareon from Jungle. We have a victory medal third place gym challenge Japanese promo with a gem mint 10. We have the second place medal with a near mint 8. And we have the first place winner's medal there with the excellent mint 6. Seems we went down in grades in a very linear fashion there. Uh, we've got the Mario Half Art Pikachu near mint 7. And the Mario Full Art Pikachu with an excellent 5. That we do then kind of build that back up with the Luigi Half Art getting a gem mint 10. And the Luigi Full Art getting a gem mint 10 as well. Then we have another gem mint 10 Red Pikachu. And another one. And another one. And another one. Yep, that's right guys. You have here a fine, fine display of Red's. Pikachus. They've all got Gem 10s by the looks of it. Oh, no. Here's one that doesn't have a Gem 10. This one got a Near Mint 7. I'm not entirely sure why, but just to bring things back up at the end, Gem Mint 10. Very, very good results there. So, I think Power Pikachus, I mean, you've got the Power Reds Pikachus, if that counts. Next up, we have George. He's starting off with the Umbreon from Ultra Shiny GX there with a Gem Mint 10. And we also have the Nita there with a Gem Mint 10. We have the Darkness Allergy Holographic from the Japanese Versus with a Gem Mint 10. We have the Machamp Expedition First Edition Japanese with a Gem Mint 10. We have the Doug Trio with a Mint 9. We have one of my favourite Pokemon, how cool, Jirachi there. The 10th movie, Com Promo, Mint 9. We have the Typhlosion from the Premium File with a Mint 9. We have the Meganium from the same file there. We have the Rockets Moltres, Japanese Gym. We have Misty's Gyarados. Brock's Rhydon. We have two of Brock's Rhydon. There we go. Misty's Tentacruel. Holographic. Erica's Vile Plume. Erica's Clefable. Lieutenant Surge's Raichu. The Fero from Lieutenant Surge. We have Kangaskhan from Jungle. We have the Charizard GX promo from Detective Pikachu. We have the Eevee and Snorlax GX there from the Tag Team Tins. We have the Pikachu and Zekrom from the Tag Team Tins. The Venusaur and the Celebi. We also have this Hollow Pikachu promo from the Team Up Single Pack Blister there, which is Pikachu looking at a Mimikyu looking a little bit scared. We have the Agron EX from Sandstorm. We have the Zapdos. The Articuno and the Moltres, all of the Black Star Legendary Bird promos. Thank you very much for sending those in. You'll see those very soon in the post. Next up, we have Matthias. I hope I say that right. If I'm saying that wrong, please tell me. We have the Gem Mint 10, Latios and Latias GX, where they're in love. Look at them forming a little love heart with their necks. We have a Charizard GX from Ultra Shiny. Big bad boy Charizard with a Gem Mint 10. Very, very cool. We have the Lucario, one of my favourite Pokemon in the Ultra Shiny Shack because it's gold and blue, and I like that. It's a Gem Mint 10. We have the Shining Mew from the Kara Kara Comics. We have Blaine's Charizard. A Charizard from the Japanese base set. We have the Misty's Tears, which was a band artwork over here in the UK, as you can probably tell by the fact she's not wearing very many clothes. We have the Reshiram and Charizard Secret Rare. Very, very cool. We have the Retroram and Charizard regular GX. We have a Dragonite Rainbow Rare there from Dragon Majesty Special Collection. We have the Shining ho from the Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box with a Gem Mint 10. The Shining Legends Secret Rare Mewtwo with a Mint 9. The Shining Legends Mewtwo GX Full Art with a Mint 9. And the Shining Legends Mewtwo GX regular card with a new Mint 8. We have the Charizard Team Up pre-release card with a Mint 9. We also have the Detective Pikachu Charizard Hollow there with a Mint 9. We have the Hollow from Dragon Majesty for Charizard with a Gem Mint 10. The Evolutions pre-release stamp Charizard Holographic with a Mint 9. 
the Mega Charizard EX from Flashfire with a Mint 9, the Venusaur Holographic with an Mint 8, and another one with exactly the same grade. We got this Charizard Base PR1, which I think is such a cool grade to get a card at. I'm not going to lie. I'd rather have a 1 than a 2 or a 3. I think I think the 1 is kind of the coolest. We've got the Near Mint 8 there. Very, very awesome. We've got the Near Mint 7 Blastoise. And another Near Mint 7 Blastoise there on the end. Thank you very much for sending those in, Matthias. Very much appreciated. And yeah. And last but not least, we have a mini stack, a big stack, and another big stack. So I'm going to move all these slightly to the left. I'm going to start here on the left. I'm going to start with Misty's Tears. This is Martins, or Mr. Bailey 1981 over on Instagram. Very good friend. Mint 9. We have the Gardevoir and Sylvie on there with the new Mint Mint 8. The Secret Rare Marshadow and Machamp GX Gem Mint 10. The Muck and Alola Muck Gem Mint 10 there. Very, very cool. I do love all these tag team cards. And when there's added rainbows, like on this Reshazard Gem Mint 10, you can't really complain, can you? Let's be very, very honest. We have the Welder with the Gem Mint 10. Also, I love full art trainer cards. Who doesn't? Koga's Trap there with the Mint 9. We have Green's Exploration there with the Mint 9. Another Green's Exploration with the Gem Mint 10. We have God of War and Sylveon with the Mint 9. We have Lucario and Mel Metal, Gem Mint 10, a Greninja and Zoroark, another Greninja and Zoroark with the Gem Mint 10. We have Marshadow and Machamp with the Gem Mint 10, Alolan Muck and non Alolan Muck Gem Mint 10, otherwise known as Muck. We have the Reshazard Full Art there with the Gem Mint 10, and another one, and one with the Mint 8, or near Mint 8, should I say. And another one with a gem, Mint 10. You've done pretty good on those, I'm not going to lie. Ferozma and Buzzwall GX. I think that is such a cool team-up. You've got one ultra skinny, kind of elegant limbs, and one that is literally just a walking, talking bicep machine there with a gem, Mint 10 as well. So very good first stack. Let's move on to the second one. We are starting with the full art of Ferozma and Buzzwall. The Hench Insect and the Skinny Insect. We've got the Reshiram and Charizard regular GX there with a Gem Mint 10. And another one. We have one with a Mint 9. One with a Near Mint 7. We have a Latios and Latias Secret Rare with a Gem Mint 10. A Magikarp and Wailord with a Mint 9. A Celebi and Venusaur. An Erica's Hospitality there. A Eevee and Snorlax. A Latios and Latias with the Mint 9. A Wailord and Magikarp with the Gem Mint 10. We have the Venusaur and Celebi with the Gem Mint 10. Another one with the Gem Mint 10. Very, very cool. The Gengar and the Mimikyu Gem Mint 10. I do love that card. Mimikyu is such a cool Pokemon. And so, obviously, is Gengar. We have the Pikachu and Zekrom there with the Gem Mint 10. The Alola Ninetales with the Mint Mint 8. The Ultra Recon Squad. This is a card that I don't think I've seen much of ever, and I really like it. Gem Mint 10. We have the Unit Energy from Ultra Prism, which is the secret rare there, near Mint 8. We have the Mint 9 Taurus. Why is Taurus kind of look like a Minotaur in that specific? I don't know. Mint 9 there, very, very cool. We have the Mega Charizard EX from Evolutions with a Gem Mint 10. And what have we got in your last a little mini half a stack? Let's have a look at these. We have the Ultra Ball Reverse Foil from the Championships of uh, European Championships, uh, the Staff one as well, very, very cool. Near Mint 8. We also have the uh, Regional Championships Guzma Reverse, Near Mint Mint 8. It was really hard to try and read what that text said there. My eyes kind of melted. Just a small amount. We have the Mint 9 Promo Mage Myth Collection. Mew. Very, very nice. I like that artwork. That is a cool... I, the holographic on that is really cool. We like it. We have Magiana. Magiana. Mag... Yep. Uh, with the name Mint 7. This is from the same mythical collection as the Mew. We have the Dark Charizard holographic there with the name Mint 7. The Fighting Energy First Edition with a Mint 8. We have the last with the excellent Mint 6. And lastly, we have a Weedle First Edition with a near Mint 7. So, thank you very much, Martin. And thank you to everyone in this video who has submitted your cards. You're going to get them back before this video even goes live. So, I hope you enjoy them. And leave a comment down below on what your favourite card from this Returns was. And as always, I'll leave it to the outro. Bye-bye. 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please like. Hit that bell button and go and follow our social media. Oh, and don't forget gradedgem.com. Thanks, guys.